as an agent for the Sith working towards the destruction of the Jedi and the Republic, and to bring his own political beliefs into fruition, whereby democracy was replaced by the rule of one, Dooku took up the leadership within the Confederacy of Independent Systems, acting as its head of state during the Clone Wars. Given that the Galactic Empire emerged out of the Republic, the faction opposing the Separatists in the galaxy-wide conflict, one might think that Dooku was a pariah within the memory of the Empire, treated with the utmost contempt and disdain. However, as we'll see, Dooku's memory was utilized much more effectively within Imperial propaganda, whereby the former Jedi Master was used as a symbol to actually bolster the Empire's claim of authority and legitimacy. In this video expose, I will explain how Dooku's memory was manipulated and used by the Galactic Empire. First, it should be quickly mentioned that Dooku's memory was utilized by some within the Empire to push an anti-Jedi attitude following Order 66. Within some circles of the Imperial hierarchy, it was rumored that Dooku had never truly left the Jedi Order. For these individuals, Dooku's exit from the Order and his taking up the cause of separatism had long been part of the Jedi plot to overthrow the Republic, a plot that had been in the works long before the outbreak of the Clone War. However, this was more in the realm of conspiracy, with high-ranking officials such as Grand Moff Tarkin himself rejecting the notion, and there's no evidence this theory was officially pushed by the Empire. Much more interesting is the official use of Dooku's memory by the Empire, as seen in the recent canon novel, Leia, Princess of Alderaan. As seen in the novel, Dooku wasn't outright rejected and dismissed as a traitorous Jedi, but rather, used as an explicit tool of pro-imperial propaganda through a rehabilitation of Dooku's image. Within the Emperor's Museum upon Coruscant, a museum dedicated to Emperor Palpatine himself, we see exactly how Dooku's memory was used to manipulate citizens of the Empire. As explained by a guide within the museum, at an exhibit dedicated specifically to the Clone War, Dooku led the Separatist forces against the Republic out of cowardly ambition, thereby resulting in the death of billions within the galaxy. However, despite this unkind description, the guide also gave Dooku his due, recognizing that the Count of Sereno had been right about one thing. In this regard, the guide within the Emperor's Museum explained that Dooku had been correct about the Republic. More specifically, as was explained to a group of apprentice legislators, up-and-coming citizens who would ultimately act as senators in the Imperial Senate, and thus clearly an attempt to impart affection for the Empire, and instill a monicum of pro-Imperial bias, the guide explained that Dooku was an early visionary in accepting that the Republic had become rotten at its core, underpinned by corruption and weakness during the rule of Supreme Chancellor Valorum. As recognized by the Empire, Dooku was right in concluding that the Republic and Senate failed in their key duty, to govern by law, order, and discipline. The guide then explained that although war was unavoidable, it nonetheless allowed a strong, heroic leader in Palpatine to emerge and set the galaxy on a correct course, a result that had clear connections to the previous actions and vision of Dooku. Therefore, Dooku wasn't merely dismissed as a traitorous Jedi or antagonist to the Empire, stemming from his being on the opposing side during the Clone War. Rather, Dooku's memory was clearly used as a device for manipulating the public into rejecting the need for the Republic, Senate, and democracy, and accepting the greatness and necessity of the Empire. Dooku certainly wasn't viewed as a hero of the Empire, but it was accepted, as seen within the Emperor's very own museum, that lessons could be learned from the former Separatist leader that made him a valuable tool of pro-Imperial propaganda. So there we have it, how Dooku's memory was manipulated and used by the Galactic Empire. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SWReadingClub, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel on Patreon, for access to exclusive hangouts and book discussions. If not for me... For Visionary...